major foreign policy speech to ambassadors gathered in Paris, Macron confirmed that French envoy Sylvain Eat was listening in from Niger's capital, Niamey, despite being given a 48-hour deadline to leave the country last Friday. France's ambassador to Niger Republic is still in the coup-hit Sahel country despite an ultimatum from the new army leaders to leave his post, French President Emmanuel Macron said Monday. During a major foreign policy speech to ambassadors gathered in Paris, Macron confirmed that French envoy Sylvain Eat was listening in from Niger's capital, Niamey, despite being given a 48-hour deadline to leave the country last Friday. I believe our policy is the correct one. It's based on the courage of President Bazoum, on the efforts of our diplomats and our ambassador in Niger, who will stay despite pressure from coup leaders. We do not recognize them. We support the president, who's not resigned. And its diplomats have faced particularly difficult situations in some countries in recent months, from Sudan, where France has been exemplary, to Niger at this very moment, and I applaud your colleague and your colleagues who are listening from their posts, he said. Niger President Mohamed Bazoum was toppled on July 26 and has been detained along with his family at the presidential palace in a coup that has been condemned by France and most of Niger's neighbors. On Friday, Niger's foreign ministry announced that French Ambassador Eat had 48 hours to leave, saying he had refused to meet with the new rulers and citing French government actions that were contrary to the interests of Niger. Macron insisted that France would not change its position in condemning the coup and offering support to Bazoum, stressing he had been democratically elected and was being courageous by refusing to resign. Our policy is clear, we do not recognize the putschists, Macron said. If France hadn't intervened, if our soldiers hadn't fallen in Africa, if Operation Serval, then Barkhane, had not been carried out, we would not be talking today about Mali, Burkina Faso or Niger. Those states would no longer exist today with its existing borders.